what just happened. <laughs> Chapter 369 of Haikyuu like, changes the scope of the story completely. I am already seeing all the online comments about how the chapter ended, all baffled and shocked. Like a time skip? A freaking time skip? What about the characters that were introduced so far? What about the people in Arba Josai? What about the blocking techniques of Data Tech? How did they evolve? And what about my guy Oikawa, yo? What's Ushikawa been up to? My guess would be that Furudate, the author of Haikyuu, would basically now focus on this story of the adult versions of the characters that we've been already introduced. So, remember the time when Oikawa basically threatened Ushikawa with his worthless pride and said that he still got lots of volleyball left in him? My guess is that the story would now be focusing on the same characters playing in different leagues and competing against each other. So it is now officially out of high school setting and now into pro setting. Uh, I'm fine with that as long as most of the characters are the people that we are familiar with. Like we get to see more of Ushikawa playing. I'm fine with that. We get to see more of Oikawa. I'm fine with that too. And yo, the Mia twins. We get to see more of Mia twins. Now, for the Mia twins, I say this because right after the Inarizaki match, Atsumu Maya said to Hinata that someday he might set for him. And I took it as a foreshadowing for what's to come. Naturally, Atsumu wouldn't set for Hinata in a high school competition. Like, so it's only possible that it would happen sometime beyond high school. That's either college volleyball or straight up pros. For some reason, I think this story wouldn't be focusing on college level competition, although if it did, I wouldn't complain, as long as the story again revolves around our favorite characters. As for the character on the bike, I'm not gonna lie, I think that's not Hinata. Maybe it's an introduction of a new character. And this is not the first time that the Brazil has been in shown in this story. It was shown before when Takeda was giving a speech about beautiful events and special meetings happening everywhere. So I think Furudate had Brazil already in mind for a long time. Now the thing that I'm most concerned about basically is Hinata and Kageyama not playing together ever again. Uh, I mean listen, I like both of them. I liked those two together in one team. I like their interactions and how they're friendly, rivalry focused on developing both of them in terms of their skills and personality, right? I want to see them more together playing against opponents. Uh, let's hope that happens. At this point, I'm willing to give benefit of doubt to the author because the story has been perfect so far. I think as we get more and more chapters, things will become quite clear. As for the chapter itself. I wish we could have seen more of Karasuno seniors hanging around in the story. I like Daichi as the captain and I wanted to see, you know, all three seniors coming back to their old club and checking on their old teammates. Guess it's too much to ask for now. I also liked how they all acknowledged Takeda's role in the improvement of volleyball club by having coach Ukai's grandson coach them and asking so many schools for practice matches and so on. Takeda is definitely the unsung hero of this story. The panel with Hinata crying was definitely one for the feels. Kageyama saying that he wanted to win with this team was also very monumental. It just shows how much he has grown since the first time he was shown in the story where he wanted to do everything by himself. Wished we could have seen them more playing in Karasuno but I guess that's not happening. Overall, I think it was a pretty decent chapter. I am cautiously optimistic about the future of this story. As I said, as long as this story focuses on the characters we already know, I'm all cool. Let me know what you guys think of it. I'm sure you guys have your own thoughts and opinion on the new direction of this story. So comment down below and let's discuss. See ya.